Hello and welcome. I am the Suntai Dip and Chew Guy, and this is the number two review of group number nine, dry snuff, nasal snuff. All of these groupings are on one playlist. That playlist will pop up at the end of this video, along with a, another review that is monetized. If you would be so kind to watch the five seconds before you can skip through the ad and a minute or two of that video, that is how the channel is funding at the moment, all right? So, what we have here is a 15 gram tin of rusty trombone. This is a product of SNUV, or Snuff, I suppose. Um, and Snuff products are made by Six Photo, okay? It is an Indian product. They will be using Indian tobacco. I believe this is a high nicotine product that is a natural, but we will find that out soon enough. Right now, we're gonna take it over to the desk to take a closer look at the packaging and the product inside. And here we are. So, as I said, this is a 15 gram tin. It is a two half can. The can is metal. It is a screw off. Uh, that is a sticker that you're looking at. And as far as these nicks and whatnot, I believe that is purposely done. That is part of the design. Okay. Everything is pretty straightforward there. To give you an idea what you're looking at with a 15 gram tin of this stuff, that is a standard dip can right there. So it's actually a pretty good size tin for 15 grams. I'm guessing there's a little space in there otherwise. So with that, we'll go to the back here and again, pretty darn simple. That is a sticker on the back. All right. And you can see the thread. It is textured up top and we will open it up and it is opening just fine. Although I did not settle the product and I probably should have done that, but we're here now. So I'm just going to do this real carefully and it's actually pretty filled up. Um, that is dead on what the product's looking like in person. Now, there is an insert in the lid, which makes it compress a little bit in the can. Um, which is good because I would have probably had an accident with that otherwise. The moisture level looks pretty good, actually, for something this fine. It is a medium to fine mill. It's got a rusty brown appearance. Now this tobacco that's being used in here is Rustica. Uh, it is known for having a high nicotine content slash backdash release. And in this particular product, the Rusty Trombone, they are using uh, top leaf which is high up on the plant. That is somewhat important because Rustica is sun-dried, all right? Um, and in the growing of this, top leaves have also been somewhat, while still alive, sun-cured, where the process started early, if that makes any sense to anyone at all. Now I'm double-thinking that. We're going to take this back up top to see what kind of damage I can inflict on myself. As for that comment there uh, about inflicting damage on myself, this product is openly stated on websites as not being a beginner snuff. And we are about to find out why. So I am going to, uh, what am I going to do here? I'm going to get some out of my hand.
And that's probably way too much per nostril. I may pinch that. Doesn't look like a lot, but I'm... You know what? Let me just... Did I bring extra paper towels? Nope. <laughs> why, why would you need that? Let me get the lid back on this. Do I have crap? God, okay. Oh. Okay, so it's high nicotine. Like high nicotine. Thank goodness the um my eye is watering. Thank goodness that's got a fairly good moisture content because otherwise that would be really rough. Uh, there is a considerable burn taking that. It's very, it's, it's very natural. Uh, the, I'm not even picking up like bergamot, citrus, anything. It's straight rustica. I'm, I can't get my eye to stop watering. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh. So, but it does have a scent. I mean, it does have the scent of tobacco, which is going to be very hard for me to explain to you unless you've done nasal stuff. It's, it, it, it's almost like a flavor only. It's not a flavor technically. It's a scent because it's in your nose. Keeping in mind that most flavors in your mouth taste buds are activated and followed through by scent and your nose so if you can see the connection there um it, it's just it's just basically high grade sun cured leaf finely milled uh i'm not picking up any citrus i i suppose like naturally found that you could say there's something like citrus note there or a a grassy note and you know what i'd be hard pressed to argue against anybody that said that but at the same time i am not picking up anything that's been purposely added or done okay they have not added bergamot oil or anything like that the scent is let me tell you what it's not. It's not the South African barnyard, okay? It, it's not that. It is pretty good, actually. Um, however, the stuff is a bit hard to take, although I am so tempted it is that good. Let me, you know what? Let me just pinch a little bit off. <laughs> Probably just did it again too much. Oh, yeah, it. It hits pretty hard. <coughs> Always want to sneeze out through your mouth or you will just lose the product out your nose, which is why you see me sort of like. It's really good stuff. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot in, in nasal snuff community forums and whatnot. There's a lot now, and it's been this way for some time, a lot of buzz about however you want to say that, S-N-U-V, snoof, I guess. Um, their products are, as far as I know, thus far all pretty top-notch quality wise um, I'm not quite sure about 
their white range campaign with like the nose candy that I did and some of the other stuff. I, I've sort of been leaning away from doing those because I just don't like the marketing idea that they've decided to go with there. Um, of course, maybe they uh, it is coming from overseas, so maybe they don't quite get the ramifications of that. But like making like narcotic class A narcotics jokes during you know what's about to be bowling over the U.S. as a fentanyl crisis is probably not you know we did we need that. This stuff is good. It's it's really good. So this has been my uh, my review of Rusty Trabone. It is high nicotine. It is natural, natural. Mid to fine, leaning fine mill. And scent-wise, flavor, if you would, it, it's pretty good. Considering it is just tobacco, I like it. Anyway, I am the Suntai Dip and Shoe Guy. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves, and as always, God bless. <laughs>